Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a career and finance reading and a love and romance reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. So let's start with career and finance. Let's see what's going on in career and finance. Page of source. So you're thinking about ways of how to make more money, how to bring in more money. Um, maybe getting curious about something, learning about something too that will could bring you money. Um, learning about maybe um, something new, again, some creative way, thinking outside of the box in terms of how to bring in extra income or another stream of income, maybe even sacrificing time or sleep or, or trying to realize what you need to sacrifice in order to uh, Queen of Pentacles, bringing this new stream of income to have an abundance of, to have more than enough. It says that maybe you need to make time for loved ones, especially if you are a mother, a working mother. Um, you just, you're just really trying to bring more money in, just more money, streams of income. Um, you're focused on it. You have the star card. Um, you, how, you're the center of something, okay? Especially if this is your own business or you are the center of, uh, in terms of, uh, maybe establishing, you also might need to get some chakra alignment so that you can manifest better with the star card. Um, it says that you're on the right path in terms of, you know, especially if you're in the beauty and fashion industry. Um, it says that, uh, this is what you should be doing. Okay. You're on the right path. This is about accepting you in totality, like your whole personality, your whole you. What is this uh, for career and finance, for cancer? Some of you feel like you hit like a glass ceiling here, the, the sun card. The universe is saying, look, we're, we're lining things up for you so you can take uh, significant risk opportunities so that you can have success here. We're shining bright on you. We're giving you, you know, lots of vitality, radiance, um, energy the sun card um let's see the ten of swords though uh and the two of swords so um i don't know there could be like collapse of collapse of maybe an agreement a partnership something is falling apart or it has fallen apart um maybe you don't see this coming with the two of swords here you got some decisions to make about maybe cutting something else off or cutting it out in terms of um, maybe your business. Some of you are gonna get some money and then you're gonna wanna start your own business here. Um, and you might have to let your job go. It says focus on negotiation, focus on having a plan, uh, making compromise in your own life. Uh, weigh the pros and the cons of this. Um, and you might even be doing that in terms of some opportunity. Yeah, oh, some opportunity maybe for growth for the 10 of pentacles. Um, you could be following what others may deem as a pipe dream. Others may deem as that, you know, it, it's just not going to work or it can't work or it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, the 10 of pentacles here, you just going to establish, um, you're trying to have more establishment, maybe even prepare for retirement, maybe even prepare for, um, inheritance or what your children will inherit. This is long-term stability. With the fool card and then the ten of pentacles it says that if you take some calculated risk if you follow your dreams n no matter how um foolish other people may think they are you can actually have long-term fulfillment goal goals fulfill achievement here recognition a good reputation so you just need to follow whatever dream it is you're having Whatever it is you, you want to pursue, maybe something from your past. You tried to pursue it, didn't work out. Let's see what love has to offer you. Let's see what love has to offer. All right, so we got romantic dinners, but then we also have cannot maintain a relationship. So somebody likes the beginning of relationships. They like the romance. They like the fun and the sun of relationships, but they just can't maintain the relationship. Therefore, maybe they walk off or they leave or they get disinterested. Discontinued is what I heard. Um, yeah, somebody likes these little whimsical relationships. They don't like it to get too serious or they just feel like maybe if somebody sticks around long enough, they'll see who they really are. This could be you, could be the other person, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. 
Um, yeah, I love lying in your arms. So if somebody likes being in your arms or vice versa. This is, came out again, romantic dinner. So somebody loves the romance, maybe the beginning of relationships. Um, they love the good feelings, the good times. Um, somebody thinks you're nuts or you think someone else is nuts. Um, you just, maybe somebody's way of acting, thinking, doing, um, yeah, somebody maybe becomes not physically attracted to their partner or somebody is not physically attracted to their partner. This wanted to come out dangerous person. Watch your back. Um, maybe you got some haters. You got some people who just don't mean you well in terms of, uh, your relationship. Somebody's got a whole lot of secret relationships and it could be a secret child. But when this card comes out with another card, it kind of magnifies the other card. So maybe you have a whole lot of secrets or somebody has a whole lot of secrets or secret relationships. Somebody is not able to maintain relationships. Um, there could be infertility issues. And if, if not any of that, this card comes out when somebody is just not able to um they're not able to cultivate a relationship, fertilize it, make it grow, you know? And maybe that's why somebody likes to be in situations where there's late night creeping. Somebody is a sneaky link. And someone is unwilling to fix a marriage or a connection, okay? Um, it just seems as if the whole theme, even before I pulled cards was, the fact that maybe somebody can't even maintain a relationship here. Okay. Somebody goes back and forth. Um, somebody loves the newness of connections, but they don't want to, you know, do the work in terms of the relationship growing old or growing wings or, um, yeah, maintaining it. One last card for cancer seeking and finding. All right. So you could find your soulmate or you've already found your soulmate. Um, you also, this is fine as spirituality too. There could be um, some news from family. Maybe this could even be like pregnancy news or moving or somebody's got some money. This is the end of an era. Some of you need to change your diet. Again, somebody is focused on self-employment, which is really good. Um, somebody is focused on moving away from maybe just emotional or whimsical connections. Maybe they want to make more of a connection with someone, especially with seeking and finding. That's what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we can ask questions. Come learn the Tarot with me. Uh, tarot classes are linked below. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.